Last week on Sailing Adrift, we created a bunch of slats to cover up the ugly insulation lining our hull. But for some reason, we just couldn't get our terminology right. So if you're in the mood for a drinking game, back up an episode and take a sip for every slip up. We've cut them into lats. Okay, so here are all our lats that I cut the other day. It'll be for the lats behind the lats by a half inch lats. Well, whatever they're called, this project is turning out pretty great. Take that stupid thing off, Kelly. We have work to do. This week, we're gonna stay the course with our slats and keep on knocking out items on our giant punch list. Yes. You know, it's funny. I think I'm gonna call your hair Brazilian walnut. Why is that? Because it looks exactly like these boards. Some are red, some are a little tanner. Just like your hairs. Yeah. You seem thrilled with that analogy not what I was going for. <laughs> what were you going for? Nice brown. Well, it's pretty blonde at the roots. That's it's weird. Like strawberry blonde. Well, I thought you were going for, what was the actual color that you were shooting for? Hot chocolate. Yeah, you said hot chocolate. I did. I said milk chocolate. Milk but chocolate's too dark for what you're going for then. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is way, way dark. That's like the color of milk chocolate. No, that's dark chocolate. No, no, no. Dark chocolate's like that wheel over there. Yeah, that's dark chocolate. No. It's that dark, baby. 98% <laughs> cacao. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. Milk chocolate versus dark chocolate. And I'll show you what I was going for with my hair. Will you say cacao? Cacao. No, cacao. <laughs> anyway, back to work, dude. I, I can't do everything. So, progress is being made. Yes, hi everybody. I am in the V birth and I've just finished some more work. It looks a lot like what I was doing last week, but you could look at it. It's far from flawless. Well, it looks great on camera. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. A few weeks ago, we showed you our benches and how they can be converted into something else. The reason why this comes off is because we need this to make this where I'm standing into a berth. You'll notice if you're paying attention at home that this is the exact same width. <gasps> Look at that. How's that? Wow. Hey Kelly. Yeah. I installed some sticks. There's one on each side. This one's just temporary. This one's epoxied in place. What do you think? I think those look great. What do you think they do? They hold up a platform of some kind, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you're, you're quite quick. Try it out. Test it. Okay, let me... No, do it now. Do it now. Do it. I have other stuff to do. So say, leave me the f*** alone while I get this done. Please. Please. <sighs> Please leave me the f*** alone while I clean this place up and then we can put the bed in. Fine! Okay. It's so easy, even a lady can do it. God, we're the worst. Okay, the moment of truth. This is how much I trust you. But it's solid, right? That, like, you, do you feel anything? Yeah. Stand on it. Like For all your boat interior needs, call Chris McCall, expert construction. Even a lady can do it. Same things like that. <laughs> but lay on it. See, this is not the biggest of beds. This is gonna be like the child's bed. Okay. 
You can fit, that's how I had to lay. This is how you lay on this bed. It's called a stacking bed. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. Try laying that way. Nope. Nope. No can do, bro. Not quite. What about this way? Along this, this couch. Oh, that one works. Yep. It works for me if I hang my foot off here. But solid. How's it going, Justin? Let's let's go see what Carpenter Justin's up to. What do we got going up here? Justin P. Littlefinger. We pulled out more windows. Watch this. These foam, uh, these little plexi windows, I, I didn't want to take them out, but I figured I probably should just to check them because they didn't seem all that substantial. But got them out. Luckily, their design is simple enough that we can recreate these better. I don't know how strong plexiglass that thick is, but it seems pretty pathetic. <laughs> pretty strong. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's got <laughs> foam, like weather stripping foam as its waterproof method. I saw it from the outside, I would have sworn it was butyl tape because it looks like butyl tape because this is just ridiculous. No, we don't have well, it's going to get new ones anyway. Do you really want to rely on this? Well, we, we never talked about it. I thought we were keeping the windows. No. They're all thin, dude. Like okay. that's really it's thin for something on the bow of the boat and there's plenty of of uh, lip there i'd much rather do like you know a half inch piece or something we just buy them we have all the stuff to cut them we did it for the hatches up here already yeah let's just hang on to those for templates well not this one i snapped it in half if we've got left over this lexan it is tinted but we could use this if we wanted to much much thicker much, much more wear tape. Plus, we gotta put lats around there so it looks real nice. Okay. What's that, dear? As you take this apart, will you label these so we know what's what? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll let you do it. No, I'm asking you to. I'll, I'll let you. Do it. Oh, what does that say? Starboard middle. Oh. Is there a boat term for middle? Oh, uh, yeah, mid. Mid. A oh. midship. Okay. Uh, do we got the front one left, the forward, or yep. is that out too? This is out. All three of these are all out. All right, we're all set. So as I mentioned before, these were all barely held in with these screws and some foam rubber. So we're going to replace these with thicker Lexan and or Plexi, or Lexan is Plexi, yeah, or Plexiglass, one of the two, acrylic. And we're going to through bolt them and then we'll use butyl to seal them. What do you think about that plan, Justin? Does that, that sound, sound like a pine That deal? sounds a lot more safe. I'll tell you what, if uh, if you're watching this, we probably haven't performed this part of the boat project yet. And I'd really appreciate it if you left your thoughts in the comments below to see if that would be a smart way of doing it. Or if you have another suggestion. But please don't suggest that we like decommission these windows and uh, fiberglass over the top of them. Because that is more work than I'm willing to put in. I was already suggested and by whom, Kelly? I don't know. Some woman. I'm not bitter at all. Hey, check out our new cabinet doors. Wave to the shelves. See, they're waving. Yeah, I get See it. See how they're stuck up? Yeah. The whole reason they're stuck up is because I just epoxied up this piece. You know, it would really suck if they got to be some epoxy adjacent and this guy was like, hmm, I'm going to stick right here. Hmm. But you see how this, this arch mirrors this roundness? That arch mirrors that one. Nice work. Thanks. Yeah. Your eyelashes are so long. I can tell because they're covered in dust. Just like the slats, these pieces were test fitted, then taken out, and now we're finishing them up to look pretty before we officially install them. Hello there. Hi. These look pretty. Yeah. This is the first coat of varnish. This is. They oh. Epoxied and sanded, and this is the first coat of varnish on the backs. How many coats? Total. This is the first one. I know, but of first of three. And then they will be ready to put in a corner somewhere and wait to be installed when the boat looks a little better. Yeah. The but we'll see. <clears throat> Now, back up to the boat. These are going to be the backing for our handrails that we're gonna install on the lats. But I could use some thickened epoxy. 
I will continue to cut them. All right, I'll go get you some epoxy then. Thanks, dude. You're a bit of all right. Go in a bag for you. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Is that satisfying or what? Soups. I've played with epoxy far too much to be satisfied by this. No, I mean like just sandwiching in that tight little hole. You were making it fit? Yeah, like just pushing it in. Yeah, still no, I'm confused. It was the delight. It's like the last piece of the puzzle. Do you want to do it? <laughs> Sounds like you're going to get more out of it just than me. Like... Oh yeah, sweet, sweet epoxy. <sighs> Good. You got one more to do, dude. All right, do it. See if you can fit it satisfyingly into its tight little hole, as you put it. <laughs> Why is it so funny? There. I've played with epoxy too many times for it to be satisfying. The epoxy is not the satisfying part. What is? The tight little hole that it fits into. Like the last piece of the puzzle. Ah. I say once more. I didn't get to do the last piece of the puzzle. You did. You let me. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. You're welcome. So while editing this video, it just dawned on me, we never really discussed what these backing plates right here are used for. So we'll use those wooden slats to cover up this ugly mess. And then over the top of those, we're gonna anchor in this guy. This is the oh sh handle. And there will be a few of them aboard. Allow me to demonstrate. So when we're underway and everything's getting like so crazy and we don't even know which way's up, we'll be able to grab here and here and over here and we can make it safely across the boat. Plus, we just thought these looked really pretty cool. What's next? Reporting live from the chain locker. There are times when I'm working on the boat where you're doing just kind of like a mundane and monotonous task and it's not too terribly difficult it's just going to take some time all i'm doing is uh securing all this electrical and plumbing um and then putting one more piece of uh fiberglass across this to really waterproof this tank uh which would make it so if we got into a bit of a trouble and ran into an iceberg or something and breached this this should be an independent chamber and we should stay afloat but anyway sitting here zip tying things i'm contoured pretty ridiculously into this locker it's not uncomfortable i just don't want to get out these are the times where the boat works not so bad i have a few little projects that i want to get done today one of them is lining the inside of this locker And the other one will be painting the inside of the chain locker, the ugly red-brown color that I know and love. So shiny. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave us a comment. We really like those. Uh, tune in next week for more exciting refit fun. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. Or are you going to have to edit the hell out of it? Putting the block Doing what? in the tight little hole? Sandwiching in the block. Solid as the day is long. Chris McCall. I didn't say that. Kelly did. But you would. Don't scuff my my plastic, bro. Oh, <laughs> this wow. bro. Broads. Check this out. <laughs> that's, like, that's the world at large. We don't want to leave it like this. No. When we're underway and we don't know what's happening. So when we're flinging about the cabin, we have something to grab here and this pole on the other side, which you probably can't see.
Yeah, I'm a dusty bottoms.